Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Why Not Me podcast. I am your host, Jerry Ruiz from Top 3 Gaming. With me today, I have a rising star on the YouTube scene, <laughs> Matthew Babauta from A Piece of Us Vlogs. Say what up, Matt. Let's get it. Let's go. All right. Look at that. Look at that. You pump, bro? I'm ready. I'm ready. Last time I seen you, you didn't really have any hair, so I'm kind of glad to see it coming back. Yeah. I guess we could talk about Girl. that a little later, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ready? Let's get it. All right, man. So today we're going to talk to you about, we want people to see how it is to start a new YouTube series. And that way people can get some information on, you know, how they can get their series going or what it takes to do it. And hopefully appreciate a little bit more of what you do. Does that sound good? All right. Yeah. I mean, I'm brand new, but let's go. Let's go. Hey, I'm brand new too, bro. So we got yeah. this. Definitely. So I guess the first question I'm going to start off asking is, what is a piece of us vlogs? Uh, so basically, so let me break it down to you kind of like how it even became a thing. So obviously, so I've been wanting to do YouTube for like since high school, I've always had this idea or a bunch of ideas. I just never decided to do it. It's one of those things, you know, everybody always has ideas, but it's like people just normally don't do it. They're just comfortable with like the standards of what you're supposed to be doing, right? So during quarantine and being, um, I guess, laid off, you could say, I don't know. It just came to my head one day, like, let's just do YouTube. Let's just try it out. And so what we did was we bought a camera like that day. And since we bought a camera, I'm like, we're definitely doing it. There's no way we're going to buy this expensive camera, expensive equipment and not do it. So we did it. Uh, how we got the name was we literally were just looking on YouTube and trying to see, like, what's an available name. Because I don't want to have a name that's like people already have. And we kind of wanted to make a name that's like includes all of us, which is me, my girlfriend and my dog uh, or our dog. So. Yeah, we found a piece of us. We did that. And then so basically what we do is just random things. We'll do like just random vlogs. We'll do um, these little uh, snack crates that we're doing where we try foods and stuff from or snacks from like different countries around the world. Um, it's basically just anything that we feel like doing. And we're trying to just have fun doing it. And then hopefully in the end, we can get paid from doing it. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of just like having fun that's, that's basically all it is if i'm um, not having fun i wouldn't be doing it no nah, I, I agree bro that's why i'm doing this because you know exactly yeah <laughs> i want to get paid and have fun but um mm -hmm. so is a piece of us vlogs is that just a youtube series is that going to be a brand or is that going to be is that just one, uh, one thing or is that going to be separated into different things yeah so a piece of us is kind of like the brand i guess you could say a piece of us is the brand and then the vlogs part is one sector of that so so far we're trying to establish a piece of us vlogs we have a piece of us films as well where we talk about movies or tv shows that we've watched and dang bro i thought you're gonna say like a production company we're not at that stage yet we're making our own films but yeah it's just so we're trying to establish different things like we have a lot of ideas for other things to do um we just want to establish these two first which is the, the vlogs and the films and then we'll move on from there like maybe one day we'll have a podcast like you maybe start a clothing brand do this do that i don't know but it's gonna be exciting to to you know see where we get see what we can do so um other than the just buying the camera and getting things going is there mm -hmm. any other reason that you started a uh, vlogging um well, so this is funny, and this is like, I don't know, you probably wouldn't, I don't know if you should say something like this, but for me, it's like, <laughs> hey, I'm not hey, even wait, the vlogging. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Before we go any further, um, you don't have to say anything uh, that you feel would make your company or your brand look bad, anything, you know, you could say whatever you want. Yeah. You, can, you can go all the way out here, or you could stay within this little box that we're in, you know, <laughs> I ain't tripping. Yeah, yeah. You, I, well, no, I, I'll, I'll, I was just going to say like. I'm not even necessarily the vlogging type. Like that's what I, even when for like my entertainment purposes, like I don't even watch too many vlogs or like stuff like that. So I'm kind of new to the 
seen, I guess. Like, I don't really know the norms of what vloggers do and this and that. But the reason why I want to do it is because I think I thought it'd be fun for us to do together and it would allow us to try new things and, you know, just do this, do that. And especially with the dog, too. Dog, which she'll make an appearance. Super cute. Hey. So she's the star of the show. Um, but yeah, I mean, the only really, re the only reason was really, I'm not the type of person that likes to work a nine to five job, like a regular job, which is most people, Yeah. but I was just kind of tired of doing that. So I was just like, this is a perfect opportunity where I have a, a bigger chance now because I literally lost a job. So I can either wait it out and wait for another job or try to pursue something else that would make me happier and you know have fun in the process so that's one of the big reasons why we chose um to start it and to do vlogging and stuff because vlogging is also easy like we don't have this crazy production studio or whatever where we can like make it look all professional now nah, yours looks better than, i mean i don't know but so we're like let's just vlog and let's just do things that we'd want to do and have fun with it so that, that's pretty much it uh what is vlogging uh how would you define it well, vlogging for us, I mean, it's funny, though, because when I started to look at a little more channels and what they do, like, we all, well, we actually don't even necessarily vlog like a lot of people do, which I feel like because our issue is, or, or what I find the issue to be is, you need, you need people to care about you, or they don't really care about your day-to-day -day life, you know what I mean? Like, they need to be invested in who you are as a person to really care about your regular day. So we've mostly been doing stuff that's kind of like not just our everyday stuff. So like, again, like doing snack crates or doing like, um, I don't know, just like various different things that's more catered to like, it's not just our everyday thing. Just random um, events pretty much. <laughs> yeah. It's like something that's a little more special than just us talking. You know what I mean? Cause I don't think many people are interested in us yet. So, oh, okay. I'm glad um, you said yet. Yeah. Because I was gonna say we're talking right now, man. So <laughs> hopefully people are no, interested. Yeah. No, no. I hope people will be, and I think we will be. I think the key to this, which, again, any of you guys watching now, it's actually more exciting for you guys. I feel like because you can see us, or you can see, a, you know, a piece of like me and us now, to where we're very small. Like we don't have. I would even, even though we have some subscribers and this and that, we don't. I still think we don't even have like an actual base yet or a foundation really. So in a year from now, or you, you know, whoever knows, no one ever knows. It could be 10 years. It could be in three months, something blows up, but you'll be able to see the growth. And there's no doubt in my mind that we won't succeed and be successful. And yeah. And you guys will be able to follow us along if you choose. So, so hey, I'm on the same path, man. The way, the way yeah. that I'm doing it is, um, I'm just trying to have fun and I'm just trying to learn from everyone I have on here. Just, just mm -hmm. if I learn one thing, that's cool. If anyone watching learns something, that's even better. And along the way, as long as I get some connections and have fun with people, then I don't really care, man. That's all I really. Yeah. That's all I really. Exactly. Want but hey, if I make money, I don't gotta work no more. Then that's just a bonus on top of that. Which you will. <laughs> and um, you keep yeah. you keep saying us. So it, it's just uh, you said it was you, your dog, and and your girl. Right? Yes. Yeah. And so it's it's me. My name is Matt. Um, her name is Nicole. The dog is Oakley. So you will, yeah, you'll, oh, you'll see us in every video. Basically we're in every single one, all three of us doing right, random okay. things. No solo videos, no, um, spinoffs. <laughs> Not yeah. really. The nah, only solo cool. videos you might see is in the film ones. Cause you know, I watch certain things that she's not really into or she watches things that I'm not into. So, we'll, but the vlog one will, will be all three of us. Okay. Well, um, how long have you been doing this for man? Like, I know you probably well, have that we, idea in your head for a bit, but, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so so we started in uh, quarantine. The thing is, I wish we would have started earlier, but we kind of wanted to get used to the camera in your face and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So basically what we were doing is um, we bought a camera instantly. I don't, I forget when we bought the camera, but we waited like a month or a little longer than that to even put the first video out, which was oakley's first birthday party um which was may 24th but we put it out late i think we put out the 20 it was supposed to come out the 24th and then we put out the 25th so i think it was may 25th when we put our first video out and what are we in july 8th 
so a month and yeah let's just say like a month and a week a month and two weeks yeah yeah if that's right no, that's, that's yeah i think bad, we man. filmed on the 23rd i think and then we yeah something like that i don't know exactly the dates but, but hey, especially with quarantine though. stuff and not working <laughs> i don't know like any days anymore like she'll say like oh it feels like monday or it feels like it feels like no day to me because i haven't been having to keep a schedule really it's just like at my job i gotta write the date down on multiple times a day so I, yeah so that's, you're that's stuck in my head right you're there, ready bro. yeah yeah so um what is it that you do exactly at a uh, piece of us vlogs like other than being a co-star you know that's pretty easy to think but um what are your what are your tasks or you know what are things that you that you happen to do me specifically yeah or like all of our roles okay, um, you so, specifically matthew babado so me sp all right so me specifically uh I mean, I pretty much do everything. The thing is like- <laughs> You do everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not to say she doesn't do anything, but I'm saying like, we do things together, but I'm just saying like, there's not nothing that I don't do is what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, but I, I pretty much, I mean, it was my idea to do this vlogging thing or this whole like YouTube thing. So I'm pretty much, I pretty much orchestrate the whole thing. So I come up with the video ideas. I choose the days we're gonna film. Um, I do most of the cutting she does a lot of the i have her do like a lot of the effects and stuff after so a lot any of the special effects you see or this or that a lot of times it's um it's she's doing that um yeah i mean i spend a lot of time just thinking also like i'll be sitting <laughs> on the couch just thinking like what can we do when should we do it uh, i'll come Dang. up with like a timeline so we have videos ready to go not ready to go but like ideas um for the rest of the year pretty much all so planned out we have two videos coming out a week and yeah that so so yeah like um, so there's pretty much not nothing i don't do so all this that you um just said right now i'm listening don't worry um mm -hmm. is this like a daily thing or is this something that you know you do maybe every two days every three days or are you constantly just thinking of what to write or what to think of how are you going to edit how does that go um i wish it was every two days or three days so like we could take breaks um but this youtube stuff actually does take a lot of time um mostly with the editing hours and hours like it's really more work than it is a regular job time wise it might not be as hard as like a regular job but time wise it's definitely takes more um but for me the way my mind works though my mind's always going and always thinking and always trying to like think about the next best thing or this or that so for me i can't shut my mind off so i'm thinking 24 7 about things but as far as actual work like filming or editing or stuff like that uh it is daily we have a thing right here that has like every day and what we're doing that day when things are coming out and every day is there's something in that box so <laughs> it, it's a daily thing unfortunately does but it it's fun though so it's not unfortunately does that have spoilers on there <laughs> is that why i can't look at it right now no nah, there's definitely spoilers on there <laughs> okay. yeah dang i thought i was about to get an exclusive <laughs> I was, bro i was dang. almost gonna sh like turn you around to show you but no I can't turn me that. around you want me to turn around you're gonna <laughs> i could turn around and you could show the people <laughs> now nah, but uh um, they gotta subscribe first oh uh, okay on um, patreon or <laughs> no, <I'm just> playing. <laughs> what are you drinking there coffee coffee uh vodka and energy drink cheers bro <laughs> let's go terrible gotta love it <laughs> <laughs> so um how do you like plan what the next episode is going to be about i know you said like you're constantly thinking and i, I know you have a a calendar with your stuff yep. on there um is it like in a certain sequence that you do it or is it just uh random stuff that just pop in your um head? so there is a there is a certain sequence i guess you can say i mean i i try to do it that way but then things happen like a random idea will come and it, it seems like it'd be quicker to just put it out or better just put it out now rather than wait but so how, how i do it is i kind of want to have different types of videos every month so I always want a video dedicated to Oakley, whether that's her trying something or a birthday or like we did a um, dog DNA test on her. So I kind of want to have videos of 
her. I want to have videos of us doing something adventurous, whether that's a hike, whether that's just maybe go to the beach or like something that's outdoors, even though it's kind of, you know, harder to do now. Um, yeah, especially but, with them um, starting to shut down California again, bro. Yeah. So, but th th but that was no that was the goal though was to like I had a whole thing. This was when I thought quarantine and all that stuff and thing was we're gonna be fine and go away by this time. I had plans of like, or we had plans of like going to places that's we obviously can't go to right now. But yeah, there's a there's a a way I want to keep it. Like I don't want five Oakley videos in a row. I'd rather have like. Maybe we have like a cooking video, an Oakley video, um, an adventure video, like some where it's kind of spread out rather than it's all the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how, how how I try to do it. So how long does it take to, um, I would say produce a video? Is that the right word? When you... It, it could be. I mean, we're... It could be, I guess. Amateur, right? amateur producers. <laughs> all right. Little but, YouTube uh, videos, but uh, how long does it take? um i guess on average i mean i'm assuming some videos yeah. probably take longer than others but I yeah guess it definitely on depends average. on the the length of the video but for for me i mean editing alone could take like 10 hours Jeez. if we're talking <laughs> about like a long video where there's like an hour or more footage because so wait, wait 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 so one hour of footage can take 10 hours to produce uh it could take longer but it could take longer <laughs> yeah it's well because it's one of those things where it depends on the video but like so you have a whole hour right of, of footage just say one hour exactly so mm -hmm. you have to go through that slowly because you're, you're cutting and stuff so that's already take you're at least taking an hour if you watch the whole thing all right but then you're not watching it just the whole thing you have to cut replay it go back cut so that alone is what takes like most of the time and then you have to think of also, okay, now you cut it down to 30, but 30 minutes is still a little too long. What can we take out, but not take out something that's valuable to the video or, you know what I mean? Yeah. To shorten it so people's it, attention spans are, you know, they, they're short. They don't want to watch 30 minutes of oh, okay. somebody I thought they you were don't about know. to talk bad about, about people, man. I was like, oh, bro, that's not no, good. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, nah. I get it, bro, because I make clips too. So I got to go back and rewatch it. <laughs> and like, I'm like, yeah. all right, three seconds more, and it should be good. And then I'm like, nah, I don't like how that sounds. Let me cut it three seconds. Yeah, so I get exactly. It. But um, the good thing about me is this is live, bro. I don't got to edit nothing. I just got to let yeah, it exactly. go. Yeah, exactly. But being live, I have a whole bunch of other technicalities I got to mess with. You know, if I mess mm -hmm. up, everyone's just going to see it right away. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's trippy. But yeah, that's it's, how it it's is, like right? a pros and cons to both. Yeah, I for exactly. sure. But look at you. You're doing both right now. Hey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, yep. I guess for the people that are going to be watching this, um, what is a good reason to go and check out your show? What would what would be a good re a thing to tell them? I mean, look at me. I'm handsome, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look at that. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> zoomed in on you. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I'm just playing. Um, I think... For me, I mean, I don't know. I, like, but what I think we bring is just authenticity, really. Like, if you just want to see people that are not doing, like, okay, for instance, let me give you an example. And this is this is no diss to any other vloggers or people that are out there, but all right. people that do like all hold these on, hold pranks on, hold and on, stuff. Hold on. Let me get my tea. <laughs> no, but people that do all these pranks, right? Like these prank channels and stuff. Like, I always look at it like these are not all legit like these are set up pranks for clicks and for views or like clickbait stuff like this for us like you're not going to find anything like that like every, everything that we do is going to be more genuine and like this is just what we're doing or this is this is what happened and that's kind of what i wanted to create was just like you're coming here like we're not trying to be anybody we're just trying we're just being ourselves we're not trying to be like the most popular people the biggest people we're just doing us and hopefully people enjoy it so I think our videos are entertaining. I think they could get better, but we're also, you know, we just started, so there's plenty of room to grow. But I think if you're looking for something that's just fun, entertaining, funny at times, informative at times, and or you just like cute dogs, I mean, I think hey, you should check us out. <laughs> Look at that. Definitely. There's two cute dogs on the screen. Hey, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. 
But actually, mm -hmm. oh no, I don't got a dog on there. I got a dog on my sleeve. Oh, look at that. There you go. Dang, get this tatted. <laughs> Woo! Get a sleeve, bro. I'd, I'd support it. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> when am I going to be on your show, bro? I've known you, I don't know, for a while. <laughs> I can wear a I mean, I'll wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, we, we could have went to some football games. Or, I was there. You know? I went, dude, they, I went for the past three years. No, but I'm saying, no, but this channel barely started. Like, and if, like, we should, we should have been going to, you know, Las Vegas, Las Vegas Raiders. Let's go. Let's go. But, I mean, I don't know. You, you'll, you'll be featured one of these days in, in here. There you go. Look at you. I don't know if I, I don't have anything Raiders right here, but. Damn, messing up, bro. I'm pretty sure I emailed you, like, <laughs> make sure you have one thing Raiders. Look at that. I got Rich Gannon right here, Charles Woodson right there. No, just kidding. Oh, I'm yeah, I got this. Here. I got this right here. Hey, is that Oakley? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the original. Nah, it's fine. But uh, yeah, White Tiger. This is me. How I looked when I was a young cub. Hey, let's go. You're hairier than bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how do you get people to watch your show? I know I just asked you, um, like why they should watch it, but how how do you attract? Uh, a fan base or just anyone to to watch it well so that's the thing that i was thinking about is what can we do and like to obviously start something and it's interesting because i think most people have more people they know or friends and family like a bigger foundation that they can lean on to where they can get up to a decent subscriber count quickly um by just friends and family. The interesting with us is like, I don't talk to any of my old friends from like school or anything like that, um, which is unfortunate, I guess. But you know, if I had, if I, if I had like just say them, and you know, and Nicole had the same thing, it would have been easier. I, so, but I think the interesting about us is like we're not, and we're also not heavy on social media. Like, we're not very big on there. We'd, I haven't ever really tried to connect with people or things to like get, you know, a yeah, name out there. Yeah, you're telling me, bro. I just remade my Twitter. <laughs> like, yeah. So I think the interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think the interesting for us is I'm not really looking to, um, market us really. I'm kind of just All having right. I'm organically just gonna, grow. I'm just gonna end the show then. All right. Bye, everybody. Yeah. He doesn't want. He doesn't want you guys watching. <laughs> but, no, um, but like I'm not. I'm not like putting effort into that because I just want it to grow organically. If people stumble, because when I look at the impressions on the videos, people are seeing the video. So it's whether do they like the video or not. And yeah, are they going to subscribe? FYI to people that are watching and don't know this, um, we could see who's watching the video. Well, not exactly who's watching it, but we can see that people are watching it. We can see that whether they're subscribers, we could see how yeah. long they watch it. We could see where they're from. Uh, it has an updated age or um, gender yet, but it shows all that. So mm -hmm. uh, we kind of can yeah. figure out a little bit how our fan base is. Or yeah, for me, I'm saying fan base, but for him, I think he's talking about family. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it's really just like, I don't know. I, I don't want to really push it on anybody in a sense even though that's kind of what you should do if it's like you're looking at it as like a brand or like a a thing but i'm really just having fun with it and i want it to grow organically and i and the reason why though is also because i want to show like you don't need a huge support group behind you or like you know really anything it's just do what you want to do and be and consistently work to get better and you know, and eventually you'll get to what you want to get. So let's go. Yeah, that's really what I'm trying to do is let's I'm just go. trying to pump out content. Let's go. And <laughs> hopefully people like it one day. And if they do, then that's great. And if not, then uh, then I don't know, then they don't. But I'll hey. still be putting it out regardless. You got a fan right here, bro. Don't even trip. So hopefully other Love people, they'll it. go and follow you. We can go ahead and drop the links later on. Not right now. Definitely. But um. I'm in the same situation too, bro. I barely started mine. Um, I'm probably, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, 
Twitter. Twitter is pretty hard because, like I said, I just barely started that from like seven years ago. I just remade my old profile. Yeah. I never liked it, to be honest, but I think that's what you kind of got to do. See, and the thing is, too, though, is I've, I haven't even promoted my Twitter. Yeah. Like, on the, if you look at any of the links in the description boxes of our videos, I don't even put my Twitter on there. And a lot of people be like, that's a dumb move. You should be putting all your stuff on there to like, so people can, and I'm going to start doing it now, but it just was never in my mind to want to do that. But the only thing we put in the description box is Oakley's Instagram. Yeah. Oh, but, so your dog has an Instagram, right? She's popping too. And no, I already know because I follow but, her. <laughs> yeah. But um, <laughs> now that's cool, bro. I mean, do you have an Instagram? A personal Instagram? No. The only uh, Instagram we have is uh, the dog. I have a Twitter. That's about it. Oh, uh, okay. So who who monitors the dog's Instagram? Uh, it's mostly me. Mostly, oh, okay. I'm, I, most, I was, I'm mostly the orchestrator. I was wondering how thing. a dog would use a phone or a keyboard. I was kind of confused sometimes. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I'm I do it probably like fifty percent of the time, and Oakley does it the other fifty. Um, but you know, no, that's how it goes. She man. doesn't like it too much. Have um, I mean, I'm assuming that a lot of people don't really like to talk about this. But have you made any money from from the podcast or not the podcast from your show? I'm talking about my own podcast, I guess. But um, you don't have to say an exact number if you have. And um, if you haven't, I guess maybe you could let us know a way that you plan to. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, so far we've I mean, I don't care. I'll put the number out there. So far, we, we probably made about. Fifty to sixty thousand yeah, dollars. Uh, no, like, All right, the show's over. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we haven't made any money actually. Uh, we're actually too small to even be able to monetize. So too short. The thing is, you have to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the thing is, we have to be able to have a thousand subscribers, right? And we're not there yet. So we haven't been able to monetize. We also need four thousand watch hours, um, which we'll get there eventually. But yes, yeah, so we haven't. We have a. We have a Patreon um which we just started and we have one person that um decided to subscribe or i don't know what it's called for that but to that so i mean i guess we'll be making money from that but not very much yet because it's just one so like again we still need to make money somehow and you know my what i plan on doing is is growing the youtube putting out a lot of content that people hopefully enjoy and be able to monetize in the future and then as well as the patreon as well as maybe even like uh start a clothing brand or, or some type of brand maybe for oakley to where fans of oakley can get their dog some oakley gear or yeah, something like get, that like, you know make I mean? a little oakley jersey <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> something, something exactly crazy like that now that'd be pretty dope bro um eventually I, I might start making a clothing brand too i want to make a hat for myself because i'm always wearing a hat um mm -hmm. send one of those this way yeah uh, well, the only reason I'm wearing a freaking hat is because I can't get a haircut because of COVID. Um, yeah. Hopefully, my barber opens back up. It'd be dope. <laughs> but um, so I guess COVID has impacted my broadcast a little bit because I got to wear a hat. Um, <laughs> other than giving you the motivation to start, how else has it impacted you? Um, you said earlier that well, I you couldn't really... Uh, um go to as much places but yeah so i what well, it impacted us originally just because we lost our job so that's obviously the biggest one um as far as youtube is concerned i mean yeah like we had we wanted to go on a lot of different um just hikes or just different places um even like amusement parks or this like just just travel around a little bit um and that is not as easy to do right now because of all this stuff. So it's impacted that, I guess. Um, and, I'm going to cut you off real quick. Go ahead. It's not for an advertisement or nothing like that. But um, so you're saying that you don't have a job right now. Um, are you getting unemployment or anything like that? Like, I feel kind of bad because I've, I've been working all kinds. And I know there's yeah. a lot of people that aren't working. But Yeah, so the thing is... Um, yeah, we're getting unemployment currently. Um, and the thing with that is obviously it's going to cut off. So we're trying to just save money. And, you know, I, at this, at this pace, we will have to get a job again. Um, 
what I'm what I'm trying to do is find something where we can make a decent amount but not have to work as much as we did like because obviously if we work we're not going to put out as much content and then without putting enough as much content i feel like we'll grow slower and it's kind of it'll just kind of mess up with the pace and the vision that we have for what we're doing but if we have to adjust you know we will so um how how are you gonna like i don't want to give away your your plans for your next episodes or anything but how are you gonna work around this COVID thing um well let me see let me look at this calendar here um well so that's uh, uh, so there's a reason why we also started uh a second channel which was prior we had those film stuff on the first channel but we wanted to split it up to make the content seem more like make more sense being together or not being together so the film one so that's kind of we started two channels because maybe we can grow two simultaneously and just be able to put more content out. My goal is just throwing content out. Shout out to uh, Gary V. Tell me, just v. throw content out. Content, content, content. Rather, it's Gary like v? the best Gary V. He's a, uh, just, you know what? J just go look him up. Gary V, everyone go look him up. Gary V, YouTube, he has a little podcast. He has a lot of little episodes. Vayner Media, he runs his company. He wants to buy the Jets. Jets are whack, but hey, can, he's um, a great guy. If you're, if you're under 18, can you look up Gary V? Yeah, I mean, as long as I mean you can. There's nothing crazy on there, but if your parents don't like cussing or like I don't know, I'm talking crazy. He talks crazy, so. Uh, I'm just saying because my yeah. last guest told me to look someone up, and I think you have to be over. 18. Oh yeah, he's a, yeah. No, Gary Vee's not a porn star. <laughs> okay, all right then. So go ahead and look him up, guys. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you some people be, be wilding on you, bro, and that's yeah. cool. I mean, I'm not tripping. I, I want to get to the point where we have so much money that we can be wilding and not even care. <laughs> yeah okay. but so yeah so the thing is is just to grow both channels and i'm really just living in the moment i'm I, i'm living in the moment but i'm also thinking for i don't know it's, it's a weird balance but like i'm not really too concerned like seeing if we have a video that has you know 40 views or like our latest one that's almost at 200 i'm not even really looking at that as like oh this 200 one is like now i feel good because at the end of the day if nobody watches, I'm still feeling the same. If a million people watch it, it I don't feel like it really changed. Like it's still, it's still just going to be putting out content, 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 content. Low key flex. <laughs> nah. <not> so, uh, <laughs> I guess, ah, do you feel those are like serious questions? But I'm, I'm gonna go to, I guess, um, uh, the more fun, more fun questions, I guess. So, so, let's um, go. let's see. What would be what would be a dream episode that you would like to make? Like, let's just say you, someone gave you like a big budget. Someone gave you good cameras. Someone's like, you can choose the location. You can choose the set. I, I shouldn't throw my hands up when I say set. <laughs> but you, Especially, yeah. <laughs> but, um, like, you know, you could choose whatever you want. What would be like your dream episode? Or like, if they're like, this is your final episode, you can go ham. What would be like just the best? episode of a piece of us vlogs that's insane a question i've never <laughs> thought about that <laughs> yeah dude, you gotta come ready on the show bro yeah uh, dude, dream episode <laughs> uh i mean i feel like that's subject to change all the time but i'll just uh, give you an example of something a dream episode i, I would say that's tough that's super tough all right let me help you out then so other than me what would be a guest that you would want on there? Well, I like what Will Smith does on Will YouTube, Smith. and he does a lot of crazy stuff. No, no, no. So no, I would no, like no. to jump out of a helicopter or something <laughs> with him, or like, where I at? don't know, do where some crazy you stuff. Where would want to jump out, out of a helicopter at? In San Martin right here, like 30 minutes away from No, <laughs> no. I would have to go with something like, I mean, he did the Grand Canyon, I believe. So like Fire. something crazy like that. Like I, I would like to do something like well in a, in like an ocean with sharks <laughs> in the Bahamas I don't know where sharks are. Really. See, that's the thing is I <laughs> I like a lot of like crazy thrilling things. I don't ever get to like partake in that side of me because it's that kind of stuff is expensive for one, and it's also like yeah. Mm -hmm. But if I had the opportunity, yeah, I would like to do stuff like that. So I would say Will Smith is a good one. Will Smith would be your um 
would be your 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 yeah i mean he's the only one i know that really does a lot of stuff like i don't know okay yeah no that's cool yeah and he's got like a um a good personality bro he's always like yeah and it's will smith maybe he can give me the movie one day a fresh prince Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah um, yeah where would like your dream location be i guess like you know like on youtube i always see fools going on vacation and i don't know about fools yeah i always see people (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, you see people um, on vacation. Like, where would where would your um, vacation spot be? I mean, I, I there's a lot of places, man. That's I, I like tropical Ohio. places. So, <laughs> Tropic <no>. Thunder, <laughs> Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I like. Uh, I mean, it, it really depends. Like, I, I I would like to go everywhere, honestly. But like tropical places for sure. Anywhere tropical, I'd like to go. Like an island somewhere, chill. I like to go on a cruise one day. I would even nah, like to go to right Alaska. Now, right, right now, you don't want to go on cruises. Yeah, no, not right now. <laughs> but Alaska, I think, would be super cool. Go to Alaska uh, and chill. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I, see you. I see what you did I there. You. <laughs> uh, Japan would be cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> Guam would be cool. Never been there. So. Um, your isn't your family like Pacific Islanders? Yes, and, my dad's side. Uh, is Guam, Guamanian, yeah. Is Guam a Pacific island? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So yeah, it'd be cool to go back to the motherland too. Yeah, it'd be cool to check it out. I've never been there, so it'd be cool. Learn your roots. That, that's on. That's on the list for sure. I don't know. I'd probably want to go to the Bahamas if I. Yeah. See. Yeah. yeah, and it, yeah that's what I'm saying. Like that's yeah. That's where I'd want to go too. Because <laughs> you know, but w- one day, one day we'll get there, bro. One day. Yeah. So um. We'll do a podcast out there. Yeah. And I'll vlog out there and you'll we'll be featured. I'll be featured. A live, a live episode of there. Maybe in like a year. Yeah. Maybe in like a year. You never know. Yeah. Hopefully less. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah. I guess when did you get Oakley? Like, I guess I'm a pivot. Um, the date. I don't even remember the date, but when was it? I mean, it was last year. I mean, you don't you don't gotta say the exact date, the exact minute, the exact. No, I'm trying to give you the exact time and second, but the, no, but the, okay. There's a, here's a here's a story for that though. Um, so, I moved out of my mom's house. She moved out of her family's house, and we got a place together, uh, me and Nicole. And one day, I was just laying in. I don't know. I think I was like just laying in bed. So I think I was home alone, and I was just thinking about a dog. Like I need a dog because I've I've had a dog. For the longest time shout out to rocky um and yeah i just it didn't feel complete here without having like some type of pet so i was thinking like we need to get a dog so i was looking up animals you're like I was wait looking a minute up, like, i feel like a piece of me is missing <laughs> yeah exactly exactly and so i was looking at a bunch, a bunch of different dog breeds like which ones are you know good to have for small apartments or this or that and somehow we came across a Pomsky, which is a uh, half Siberian Husky, half Pomeranian. And yeah, so it's like a mini Husky or whatever. So basically, decided I, to go with that. I wish I had a pic. I should ask you for a picture of Oakley. Hey, can you call your dog? No, she'll make a feature right now. But Oakley. Hey, Oakley. <laughs> she'll, make a, she'll make a feature <laughs> right after the story. I'll, I'll grab her. But um, so anyways, yeah, so anyways, you bought her. No, the thing is, I was trying to. So I, I got, I had a credit card, but it wasn't. Um, I didn't, I didn't have it on me. It was coming in the mail, right? So, I uh, bought her with that. I think they thought I stole the credit card because they wanted proof <laughs> of the card, and I told them I, I didn't have proof of the card. But it'll come in the mail in like a week. So, if you can wait, that'd be fine. That'd be, that'd, that'd be great. They said okay, and then the next day, someone else called and said we can't wait. We're gonna cancel it. When you have the card, you could rebuy. But I know she was going to be gone, so uh, Nicole used her card, and then, yeah, and then she flew in from. Uh, so, so you bought your dog the online. The Midwest, online, yeah. The credit card. Yeah. I didn't even know you could do that, bro. That's crazy. I I just assumed yeah. you, you had to buy dogs cash. No, and then <laughs> they just, flew in. You just mail them a freaking duffel bag of cash. <laughs> yeah. And then she flew in right here, and then. Uh, yeah, she touched down in California. And um, was this person like a reputable seller, 
or like I did, you no just idea. See, did you just see like a a post saying hey i'm selling this dog do you want it uh no so there's like this uh this website that uh we're not getting paid to talk about so i'm not gonna say the name yeah, but there's this right. website you can go on and like like basically people that breed dogs and stuff can post on there and i wanted to make sure it was legit for one and i want to make sure like look at reviews and like is this like legit and reputable site but it was and the Five dog stars. came fine and yeah i was happy now I, I would do it again through them because uh it's legit. It, I mean, she came out fine. It's legit. She and came then, out um, fine. It is expensive though, but all dogs are, I guess, if you're getting yeah. that. Yeah. Um, it, did your dog come with paperwork and all that? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that's cool. I mean, um, do you mind yeah. asking how much your dog cost? Yeah, how much your dog cost? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, a couple thousand. Whatever, bro, I, I forget look, the exact make me, amount. Make me look stupid on you. you, you <laughs> know, like, what, what a jerk. I forget all right, the, the show's exact over. amount. Show's over. Bring over. <laughs> She's about to make an appearance. Oh, okay. What um what made you get a Pomeranian Husky? Oh look at that. Um That's yeah, the piece so of us right family here. right there. Yeah, that's the whole that's the whole family. So that's a Pomeranian Husky? Yeah. So you can see like I just see. Alright, if you guys are under eighteen, you might wanna oh. This is Um <laughs> No, no, it's working. Really see right there. No, it's working. <laughs> but yeah, this is her though. <laughs> <laughs> she's not used to life, bro. <laughs> she's no, she's screwed. not. That's funny. So that's like a miniature but, uh, husky, bro. That's pretty crazy. much. I mean, most people look when they look at her, they're like, oh, like they can tell she's mixed. They're like, oh, what is she? She's husky and what? So they most see the husky in her, but I don't know. She looks like both to me. She looks like and the husky. Bro, I'm sorry, but like right now in my head, I'm thinking like a Pomeranian's a little dog <laughs> and Husky's a big dog. Yeah. Uh, like, how do they do I that? mean, how do they no, do they that? don't bang it out. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. They definitely don't bang it out. Oh, they got to okay. do it a different way. All right, for sure, man. Sorry. Like, uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> like a turkey, right? Like a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, exactly. What made you get that type of dog, man? Like. Uh, were, were you just like, oh, you know what? Everyone's got like a Rottweiler. Everyone's got a pit bull. I want a miniature husky. Well, the thing was, I didn't know they even existed. So I was just um, searching the web and just looking at different types of dogs. Because I honestly don't know many types of dogs. Like, I know the main ones, the ones that you, you always see. But I didn't know a Pomsky was even a thing. And it's actually not even an official breed yet. But it's they're trying to make it one. But uh, I, I don't know. I just came across it on a website. And then... It seemed interesting. I want to look up more, and then I seen puppies, and then I'm like, I gotta have one. And yeah, the thing is, she's not even a uh, because there's different ones where you pay more for them if, if you know they're gonna be like smaller, like tiny ones. Oh, you want like a um, uh, like a miniature miniature? Well, it's not it's not what I wanted, but like they can become that though. She's oh, okay. like a the average size of a pond. Like she's not a tiny dog, but she's also not a big dog. You know? Oh, okay. No, that makes sense. Yeah, she looks kind of small. Yeah. Well, for a husky. For a husky, she looks. Yeah, oh yeah, for tiny. sure. For a husky, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She looks tiny. Are you gonna see she's a crazy dog? dog in, um, any dog shows? <laughs> nah, she's not. What's it becomes an enough. official breed? Nah. Nah. See, you you made her become a star, bro. That's the only reason why she's all crazy. Yeah, bro. she has an ego already, and uh, yeah, her head's growing by the minute. Yeah, like yours, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man. Um. Just to let people know, this is my cousin. Um, I well, we're not cousins blood related. We're cousins by yeah. Marriage, we're not cousin cousins. Yeah. But I grew up with this guy, so he's my cousin, yep. man. And like, yeah, I'm happy to see him being successful in life. I'm happy to see that he's enjoying what you know his life. He's doing what he wants to do, and I'm Likewise. proud of you, bro. I'm proud of you. Man. Likewise, man. but it it ain't over. We're still going. I it's just not have, over. Just it's just the beginning. Exactly, bro. <laughs> um, I remember you saying that your video had like 200 views. What video of yours had um, the most views? Uh, so it's actually just under 200, I think, somewhere around there. But that's it's that one though. It's our latest video we that we put up. Which one? Was the that? second one. 
is uh, so that's the one where I shave my head <laughs> completely, and Oakley gets uh, a trim as well. Oh, it's okay. that video. Um, yeah, and the second one's her DNA test, and then the other one's her birthday party. Just those, are, those are the top DNA three. DNA test. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> She's one hundred percent what? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I guess the last question that I have for now is gonna be, have you had any haters, bro? <laughs> well, my number one hater, I would say, is you. Yeah, that's true. But uh, no, I'm just like, <laughs> uh. We did. We got it. Well, we got our first dislike. All right. Yeah. See, that's so, where I'm trying to go. Yeah. So I think we're really starting to get somewhere with that. Um, our first dislike. We, yeah. We had a hundred percent on likes, and then we got our first one on our ex vegan tries beef or whatever. So I used to be vegan. If you know, if you guys don't know, which you guys probably don't, uh, for a while, and then I stopped and I started eating like chicken and fish and stuff like that for the longest time. But I wasn't eating beef. Or pork. So we made you a video of me no trying beef. no beef. I don't want no smoke with nobody. Uh, so they we tried. <laughs> <laughs> so we made a video of me trying a hamburger or a cheeseburger from Five Guys. So I don't know. Maybe it's a vegan out there that's mad that I went back to the dark side. Giving a bad name. I don't know. Giving a bad name to the vegans. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I still support it though. I still support yeah. them. Well, I remember, um, I remember you telling me that, and like I said, actually, um, having haters is very important because if you have a hater, that means that someone is emotionally invested in you, and that's mm -hmm. good because that means they care, <laughs> either in a good way or a bad they way. Care. But hey, so I'm waiting for my yeah. haters. Um, just watch everyone just starts booing me <laughs> in, the, in the comments. A bunch of dislikes. Uh, like, boo. Yeah, it's true though. <laughs> Because your haters will also subscribe to you, and they'll, and they'll watch every video. Yeah, so they'll just be if, negative every time. Even if they don't subscribe and they just watch your video, they're still helping you out, bro. So jokes, yeah, jokes on them. But mm -hmm. um, right now we're gonna break away to a segment called live questions, where you people watching, you people. I thought these questions were live. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wait, but, is this pre-recorded? <laughs> but this is live questions for the co the people commenting and watching. So um. Go ahead and start thinking of questions that you want to ask Matthew Babauta from A Piece of Us Vlog. There's going to be no questions. <laughs> if there's no questions, I got a backup plan for that, bro. Don't even trip. Well, let's get it. But um, All right. We're going to go ahead and cut off. Matt, if you want to take a quick little break, it's going to be about 45 seconds. And then we'll get back to it, okay? All right. So, I'll go through my video real quick. All right. I'll let you know when we're about to go on break, okay? In three Good. seconds. Three, two, one. So let's see if there's any live questions. Not like last time where no one asked or it didn't load till later. <laughs> All right. So we have a question from YouTuber Esmeralda Mendoza. What is your idea of success moving forward? Damn. Hard question right there, bro. It's getting deep around here. No, one. but uh like a Derek Carr throw. What is it? Bro. What is it my what is it my idea of success? Yeah, uh, what is your idea of success moving forward? My idea of success moving forward. So for me. My idea of success moving forward is just continue to be happy with what I'm doing as well as make enough money where I can at least pay rent and eat. That's pretty much it. If I can pay rent and eat and do what I'm doing, like making videos and stuff like that, I'm good. Like I don't need, you know, the millions or the millions. living, buying, like, you know what I mean? As long as I can do that part, I'm gonna, I mean, that's success to me right there. Like, Anybody's successful to me if they're happy with doing what they're doing and getting paid to do it. 
Damn, bro. That cut deep. What's it called? <laughs> I know no one's asking me. Ah, whatever. There's another question. I'm not going to. But I'll that. take the money, though. I'll take a lot of it. And I'll yeah. give it back to you guys. I know no one cares what I got to say, but my idea of success moving forward would be if I could replace this with my normal job, even if I don't, if I make a couple less and I don't got to work no more, then I'd be happy, bro. But uh, all right. We got another question I from another YouTuber. Actually, this is my fiance, uh, Laura Mendoza. Laura Mendoza. Okay, she's going to get all mad. At yeah, don't mess it up. Yeah, Come know, on. What bro, are you doing? I'm sorry, bro. It's just uh, <laughs> <laughs> white, white teens are the most common people that watch YouTube. So I'm trying to cater to them. But anyways, what can we look forward to see on a piece of us vlogs? Other than what can you look Obama? forward? <laughs> uh, yeah, other than me and well, so we, so what you can look forward to here. I'll give you a breakdown of what we got. So we have videos coming up of Oakley trying things. So if you've seen videos before, we've had to try like fruits for the first time, vegetables for the first time. We were trying other things. Uh, we have more snack crates. So we did Hawaii for the first time, which so we tried Hawaii, like snacks from Hawaii and, you know, see what it's like eating the snacks that they typically like out there. We have more videos of that from around the world. Um, we also have, well, yeah, we have more cooking uh, videos coming up, which are stuff that we've never had before and we've never made before. So we just try to make it and see if it comes out good or not. Um, we're also going to do more regular vlogs, just daily things of what we're doing. So for instance, like I vlog, we vlog today and tomorrow it'll be up. So it'll feature this podcast as well. So you guys can check it out. Um, but yeah, you'll just experience our life through our eyes, I guess is, is what, uh, you'll get. Does anybody have any other questions? All right. All right. Here's another one. So, um, YouTuber Daisy Mendoza. Where do you see yourself at the end of the year? At the end of the year. Um, so that one's almost more tough because it's almost like having to have like a, huh, let me see. Let, we got let some, me think about this real we quick. We got some smart YouTubers, bro. You ain't going to get yeah, away yeah. easy with your hairy arm um, on the screen. Oh, you like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. San Jose. Well, the th <laughs> well, if you're talking about like literally actual location, then yeah, San Jose. But if you're talking about within the YouTube growth or whatever, uh, then for me, it's like I see us continuing putting out the same amount of videos, and by the end of the year, I would hope we've hit the, uh, the, um, what is it? The, uh, the minimum of requirements to get monetized. So, which is a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So I'm a, that's the goal is to at least hit that thousand subscribers. Yeah. I'm with you on that, bro. I'm trying to hit that too. But hey, <laughs> but hopefully before though. Yeah. Yeah, we'll bro. It's at. crazy, bro. It's that's a lot yeah. a lot of people what it is. Um, i think i'm like at 29 subscribers <laughs> and, yeah. and last time i checked 24 hours of people have viewed my stuff so it's a, gr it's a slow growth but i mean there. we'll get there one day almost yeah there. <laughs> almost there did um anyone else have any questions before we move on All right. I guess no one else has any questions. So, Matt, do you have a question for me? Uh, do I have a question for you? Let me see. I got a question for you. Let me just think real quick. Uh, yeah, I got a question for you. So, well, this this one's not a so serious of a question, but what um, if you could have one guest in the whole world, who would you want? Featured on your show, other than the great Matthew Babata, um, other than me, <laughs> I guess I would have Dave Chappelle, bro. <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Why would you have Dave Chappelle? Um, because the dude is funny and he's smart, and that's that's a good combination for me, bro. Not only will like I learn a bunch of stuff, but I'm gonna be laughing the whole time. 
the whole time. <laughs> the yeah. whole time. That's a good and, one. And and a plus, he's uh, super popular, so that would help me out too. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for nah, sure. But even if um, nobody was watching this, um, you still want him. Yeah, uh, I would. Yeah, it'd be cool because uh, I would be learning, bro, and that's all I care about. I'd just be having a good time. Yeah. So um, we're gonna move on to the next segment. Which is the turbo questions. Um, the, it lasts about a minute. I'm going to be asking you whether you like this or whether you like that. Are you ready? Let's do it. Easy. Okay. Well, let's see. One, two, three. Let's go. Uh, PC or Mac? Mm, it's, uh, Mac, only because I got... Yeah, Mac. Uh, Pomeranian or a Husky? Husky. Um, a PS4 or an Xbox? PS4 now, Xbox before. Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. A Lambo or a Bentley? Lambo truck. Chick-fil-A or In-N-Out? It's not even a question, Chick-fil-A. Gucci or Versace? Uh, neither. Okay. Uh, you gotta pick one, bro. <laughs> Versace. Versace. Uh, Style out. Skydive or bungee jump? Uh, skydive. Okay. Um, hot chip challenge or kiki challenge? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure what that is, but I'll say hot chip challenge. Jorge Masvidal or Kimura Usman? All I'm right, going with Jorge up. all day. Uh, fuck it. You made it by the bell. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not sorry. I can say whatever I want. <laughs> this is my show. show. This is my show. Yeah, that's why I do it. Cause I'm my own boss. Mm-hmm. Look at that, dude. Drink to that. You love to see it. So last time, my um guest got ten questions in one minute. Let's see how much you got. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Does the last one count? Of course it does. Does the last one count? I shot before the bell rang. Oh, okay. You just had to wait for the ball to the go ball in. The ball was in the air. Okay, you got the buzzer yeah. beater. Yeah, let's All right. go. All right, for sure, let's man. Let's go. Well, you know, I appreciate you coming on here, bro. It means a lot. I appreciate you having me. Yeah, no problem. Definitely. Um, well, you know, we're going to collab on some stuff. For I th- sure. I think eventually we should make our own show, too. I think that'd be pretty Stay sick. tuned, people. Yeah. Maybe that will be... Is become that, a thing is that an exclusive is that news <laughs> now nah, but um matt well matthew i guess if that's what you guys want to call him matt has been helping me um behind the scenes a little bit um with my technical tests as you guys know um going live can be a little difficult and you have to test a whole bunch of stuff i had him help me with these zoom meetings I had him help me with um the, the audio, just a bunch of stuff. He didn't yeah. do anything. So this really. isn't our first podcast. This isn't our first podcast. We've, this is like our third or fourth one. This is just the first one that went on live. Yeah. It, this is the only, <laughs> this is the um, first broadcasted one. Because the other ones were live. Yeah. I just deleted them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's but, true. For our practicing. But I appreciate you helping me, man, because this, this whole show means a lot to me. Hopefully, you know, it helps me make some money eventually. But Which um, you will. I think uh, you're on a good track for sure. Yeah, and then yeah, this is yeah. good for both of us. This is good for you. Um, it's good for me. And yeah. I think uh, exposure for yeah. the both of us, you know. But um, exactly. So that's why I had to have have you as my second guest, is because you've been helping me. I couldn't be the first one. Can you can you believe this guy? <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> I don't want to scare everyone away, bro. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Uh, I'm just kidding. Don't be sad. <laughs> <laughs> But all right, um, this is the end of the show. Um, do you have any social media links you want to drop? I know you said you don't like doing that, but now's the time. All right, if any of you heathens out there want to, uh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> if any of you guys want to, you know, check us out, you can look us up on YouTube. A piece of us vlogs is our main channel. A piece of us films is our second channel. Um, you can follow Oakley on Instagram at Pomsky dot Oakley. Um, P O M S K Y dot O A K L E E. There's not E Y. Um, and then me on Twitter, 21 MJB 24. Um, yeah, that's about it. You can check us out on those, uh, on those things. Oh yeah, man. I'll be looking forward to the next video that you drop. 
Should be dope. Hey. Yep, tomorrow. And um, you guys can catch me live on Wednesdays, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, I just want to thank everyone watching this. And I hope you guys not only hit like and subscribe to my channel, but to a piece of us vlogs channel as well. So I'm going to go ahead and see you guys next week. I have um, next week's guest um, booked already. Hopefully they don't back out. I have backup plans. But, you know, life happens. I understand. But I hope you guys have a good evening. Let's go. And let's get it. Hey. Game. So I'm going to go ahead and meet you on the Zoom real quick. I'll talk to you a little bit after, all right? All right. Yeah.